This is a baby with an injury called a brachial plexus injury. She is having good motor recovery to her arm, but it's still very important that we give her lots of sensory stimulation to the affected side and that we also teach her good movement patterns so that when she starts to activate, her arm is going to move in the natural position. Parent education is very important at this point because they're going to need to learn how to do this on a daily basis so it becomes incorporated into our natural movement patterns. We're going to encourage as much movement as possible at this point because the more that this child moves her entire body, including her legs, her pelvis, and her trunk, the more that she will activate her arm movement. You'll notice that she moves this right arm, but it does not move to the same amount of frequency as her left arm. So while I try and move her at the same time as guiding this right arm so that it stays in a good position and in a good alignment, that her shoulder is not being stretched unduly. And we will go from different positions always looking at the alignment of the shoulder. We are working on bringing her hand to her mouth at the same time as I am helping to get the hand in contact with her mouth, I'm making sure that her thumb leads the way and that her elbow is staying relaxed down at her side and is not rotating inward. This is a pattern that is frequently seen with children with a brachial plexus injury and we will try and decrease as much of the patterning as possible. The more stimulation that we can give to the arm of a child with a brachial plexus injury, the better that they will feel it and start moving it. Here we've moved her into a supported sitting position and we're going to encourage that hand to come to her mouth with the thumb leading the way and support under the elbow so that she is not rotating inward with the shoulder. Here we're working on rolling over towards her stomach. You see that when I roll her towards her stomach, I use her pelvis to roll her, and I let her upper body follow along and activate. This will help her to use her shoulders more. Tummy time is very important for babies for their development, and children with a brachial plexus injury especially need to be on their tummies in order to help encourage their shoulder blades to become stronger and activate more. Sometimes these babies tend to not like to turn their heads toward their affected side. This baby likes to keep her head to the left, so I will use the pacifier in order to be able to encourage her to keep her head turning towards the right while I have her still somewhat on a sideline position and I'm going to gently just rock her and try and get her more fully on her belly while she's keeping her head towards the right side. Tummy time should occur 50% of awake time and some of that time needs to be on a firm surface. In this position, she's in her sideline position and I'm again encouraging hand to mouth. I'm keeping her thumb leading the way and I'm keeping her from having an internally rotated shoulder position through my positioning of her wrist and hand. You'll see that I'm trying to rock her pelvis back and forth. I'm trying to do this to try and encourage more activation of her upper trunk muscles and her shoulder blade muscles while we're in a sideline position. You'll continue to see this baby does not like to turn her head towards her right side. She prefers to keep it to the left. So I'm going to flip her over onto my hand so that I can try and encourage her to have to look to the right to find mom. I'll use the pacifier, again stroking it to the side of her cheek so that she has to turn her head slightly to the right to find it. I'll support her right arm using my hand underneath her elbow and her forearm while I flip her more fully onto her belly while I'm holding her with my forearm. You can encourage family to encourage others to stand to the baby's affected side more often so that when they're talking to the baby, the baby will turn towards them and therefore the affected side will get more stimulation. 
It's very important to give the parents the opportunity to be able to practice all of these different holds. It's important for this to become incorporated into their everyday life and therapy should not just be about doing exercises a couple times a day but rather a change of how they hold the baby and how they encourage movement through play, through dressing changes and through their bathing and movement. So allowing the parents to practice this will make them feel more comfortable. They can ask questions and they will be able to do it at home without having concerns that they're doing it inappropriately. In this position, I am supporting the baby at the pelvis and having her back against my chest. At the same time as I slightly lean her forward and encouraging mom to talk to her in front so that she keeps her head facing forward. This way we can work on the baby's active head extension or lifting of the head using the back and neck muscles. And you can see where the baby actually extends at the neck and is able to hold her head without hyperextending or bending backwards too much. In this position we've got mom making sure that the baby's butt bones are sitting on her hand so that the baby is not sitting on her sacrum or the low back and mom is going to support at the chest at the same time as she's able to lean the baby forward so that the baby has to hold her own head up. At the same time mom is supporting that right arm using her hand to keep the baby's elbow bent and supported up at her side rather than allowing it to hang down to the side as it would want to do. Again through the use of the pacifier I can try and encourage the baby to keep her head more in the midline versus looking to the left side. Mom is going to practice the hold that we call a football hold with her hand in between the baby's legs. She's going to support the upper arm so that it doesn't hang down. And she's going to encourage the head to stay towards the right side. Once she gets comfortable with this position, we will try and move the baby more into a tummy position versus the sideline position that she is currently in. So here we've moved the baby more into a tummy position and if she was awake she would be working on lifting her head from her lower cervical spine muscles to pick up her head. If the baby does not like tummy time, laying over a person's lap while you're supporting the arm is also another wonderful way to encourage tummy time without the baby becoming very distressed. Thank, Thank you. you.